What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to use the extension Flowify to bend text along a couple different kinds of faces. Before I get started I want to thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Steven Wilson, Iveta Pazdarova, Kenneth Reed, Rob Middleton, and Drew Franio. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So this week, my patrons voted, and they selected a new Flowify tutorial as the tutorial of the week. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to support the show, maybe vote on the extension that I cover every week, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So we've used the extension Flowify before, and I will link to some tutorials about that in the notes down below, as well as a link to the extension itself. But what I wanted to talk about today is I wanted to talk specifically about um, using it to create or curve text along different kinds of faces. What I've done here is I've drawn a pair of arcs and then I use the extension weld in order to weld them into one interrupted, uninterrupted shape. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to draw some lines off the back and push pull this up in order to create our first curved face. And I'm also going to make a copy of that off to the side using the move tool in copy mode so that we can do some more with it in the future. Um, but for right now what I want to do, this is very simple, you'll notice when I welded these two curves together using Using the extension weld, which I will link to in the notes down below, um, because these became uninterrupted lines, I don't get any extra edges in here or anything like that. Well now, we can use the extension Flowify to bend text along this face. And if you remember, the requirement for Flowify is you have to have a four-sided group that you're going to bend things along, or a four-sided face. So in this case, if I make this a group, this makes up the kind of face that we want in order to work with Flowify. And so the way Flowify works is you basically draw a pair of target lines like this and what they do is they come off of a face that you have set up over here so you have a flat face you have a pair of target lines and then you have a target face like this one over here so you're basically telling it this is what this shape would look like if it was flat these are your two lines connecting you to the face you want to bend along and then this is the face we want to bend along and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a flat plane in here like this. And so now what we need to do is we need to make sure our grouping is set up properly. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select these two edges and put them in a group. I want my target face to be in a group and I want my base face to be in a group. So this is going to be three groups and um, then you're going to take all three of those groups and put them in their own group. And I get this question all the time, this isn't working, why isn't it working? You need to go back to this step and make sure that your groups are set up properly. So target group, target lines, base face, all in their own groups, and then you put all of those into an overall group. So if you were to look at it inside of your outliner, you would have three groups, inside of one group. So double check to make sure that works. And a good way to make sure this is gonna work for you is to, um, once you've set your groups up, go up to extensions, flowify, impose grid. If you get a grid on this face, this means that it's set up properly. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our text. And so for this one, I'm just gonna use the built-in 3D text tool. And we'll just call, I'll just put the SketchUp Essentials in as my text and then I'll place it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on this face. So you can place that wherever you want on this face. You can move it up or down. But then all you have to do if your other group is set up properly is just select this and do a shift click and select this and then go up to extensions, flowify, flowify. And so what that does is that goes through and that takes my text and it splits it up so that it curves along this face. So this is a really fast way to do something like this. And um, if you wanted to, maybe what I'll do is I'll put a couple different examples on this face. So I'm going to move this up and we'll do that again. But you could also, if you were to move this down, make changes to this 
So once you have an idea of the way this works, what you can do is you can adjust the object that you're bending in order to create different looks. So like for example, I'm gonna use Fredo Scales box tapering on here. And what I can do is I can take my text and I can taper it down like this. So you could have your text get smaller at one side, bigger on the other side, and then just do the same thing, extensions, Flowify, Flowify, and you can see how that text that's getting bigger can go on there as well. So once you get your group up, you can get really creative on the different th kinds of things you can create. So another thing you could do is, um, because this has four corners, so we're going to move on to our second example group over here. Because this has four corners, you could do the same thing over here, where you could take the shape and you could taper it down like this, and it still has four corners, right? So Flowify is still going to work with it just fine. So I would do the same thing over here. Maybe draw my face a little further away just so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. But... You could draw a shape like this, and then just do the same thing. Set your grouping up the same way. So we'd group these lines, we'd put this box in a group, and then we'd put all three of these in a group. So you could take some more text, and use Flowify over here. And one thing you're gonna notice about this is for this one, because you're bending it along a shape that gets a little bit smaller on this other side, um, your text is gonna start off a little bit taller here and it's gonna get a little bit warped and smashed down over here because as far as your target group is concerned, um, right here, it's taking this whole shape and it's kind of jamming it down to fit this shape. So you need to be aware of what that's doing just so you know if you're gonna get distortions or things like that, you can kind of plan for those. You know, and um, so but you can see how you can use this to bend text along faces really easily. And so one more example, and it's a little bit more of a complex example, is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna extrude a sphere using the follow me tool. So um, I'm gonna draw this sphere and I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna stand it up. So I'm just gonna use the rotate tool in order to stand it up. So when I do that, it would be kind of difficult right now to bend something along, first of all, along the entire sphere that wouldn't work because there's not a four cornered shape in there if you were to do that this way. Um, but let's say you wanted to bend something along the face of this sphere. Well, what you could do is, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna turn hidden geometry on and what you could do is you could come in here and you could erase out, or you don't even need to erase out. What you could do is, We'll just look at this straight on using front view. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn parallel projection on just so I can drag a box across just this line really quickly. So and then I'm gonna turn it back off. You can see how what I did is I came in here and I selected the entire half of the sphere. Um, or the entire circle or the entire ring that's going around this sphere. Well, I'm just going to go up into my entity info and unsoften that. Well, now what I have is I have two halves of a sphere. So I've broken this up like this. Well, now I'm going to go in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select all of this geometry and I'm going to unsoften it so that it becomes real geometry or so that it becomes geometry that you can see. And then we'll do the same thing on the bottom down here. Well, now, if we were to go in and turn hidden geometry back off, what we've done is we've broken this face up into a shape that now has four corners. It has one, two, three, four. So if I was to make a copy of this off to the side, you can see how now I have actual corners in here that I can draw my target lines off of. So once you've done that, you can come in here and you can group this half of your sphere.
probably what I would do in this case is I would start by drawing the rectangle that I'm going to use as my target shape off to the side. So something like this. So I would draw that first. And then I would draw my target lines to each corner. Like this. And I would put them in a group. So I'm just going to select these. Put them in a group. This one's in a group. Then I'm going to take all three of those and I'm going to make a group. And now if I go into Flowify and I click Impose Grid, you can see how I'm going to get a grid in here because this has this is a four-cornered shape. So even though it's a complex curve shape, it's got four corners in here so Flowify can kind of read it. And so then, let's say, oops. Let's say we just wanted to put the word sphere in here. And we'll go ahead and make a couple copies of it. So I'll just use the move tool in copy mode. So we've got that in here like this. Well, one thing we need to do is we need to take all of these words. And we need to put them in a group. And then you're, this still isn't going to work for you because this needs to be raw geometry inside of this group. So if I was to take all of this right now and try to run Flowify, it's going to give you an error because your source geometry group must contain raw faces. So when we do this this way, we've got all of these text groups in here. Well, we need to select them all and right click and explode. So now they're all in here as raw geometry. So now I can take my uh, target group and the group that I want to bend along this and just go to extensions, Flowify, Flowify. And it's going to bend all of that text along this face just like this. And so if you wanted to, if you wanted this to go all the way along this sphere on both sides, you could then take this and you could use the move tool in copy mode to copy it. And then you could just flip it using the scale tool. And you don't have to use the scale tool, but I usually do. Then you can just move it back so that it's on this face. You have to be a little bit careful when you do that to make sure that it's actually on the face. But you can see how now, whoops, we're probably going to want to flip this the other way. But you can see how now you've got this geometry along this sphere all the way along both sides. So once you have a handle on the way that this works, you can bend shapes along more, more and more complex faces. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you find this helpful? Have you used Flowify before? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.